a very warm welcome to all my ardent viewers of Tell Me a Story. I am Carol Narona and you and I are both journeying along with these wonderful Bible stories from the Old Testament. The prophet on whom our focus is right now is Prophet Elisha, the miracle maker and the wonder worker. Let's listen to another such interesting story from the life of Prophet Elisha but after we make the sign of the cross. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. So kids, it is very important to remember that Elisha was a holy man and a wonder worker. He was able to perform many, many miracles, much more than Prophet Elijah throughout his lifetime. One such miracle is of a time when food was absolutely scarce in the region of Samaria. Once the king of Syria himself marched with his entire army against the Samaritans, against the capital city of Israel, that is Samaria, and they camped right outside the city gates. They did not allow anyone to enter in the city or come out of the city. All of this resulted in food becoming scarce within the Samarian region. There was absolutely nothing left for the people to buy. The very rich people of Samaria paid huge sums of money to even get a hold of a donkey's head to cook for dinner, while the poor people just went hungry for days. Now the king of Israel was very disturbed by this. He went around his town talking to his people. That's when he discovered how very desperate for food they all were. The king was very furious with Elisha. Do you know why? Yes, in the previous episode we spoke of this. How the army was sent back instead of killing them. The king now in his anger said, I will kill Elisha. I should have destroyed the Syrian army when they had come to my court. Elisha was sitting at his home knowing all too well what the king had been thinking in his palace. So Elisha waited patiently for the royal visitor to come and take him to the palace. God has brought all this trouble on us. Why does God not do anything? The king complained to Elisha. Elisha very peacefully told the king, I promise you, my king, that by this time tomorrow, God says that the best of wheat and barley will be sold here in Samaria for one-fifth the price that we have been paying all this time. The king's chief officer laughed aloud when he heard this. He said, one-fifth the price, wheat and barley? That can only happen if God sends barley raining down from heaven. Elisha looked at him and said, What God has said will happen, will definitely happen. And you will see this for yourself. But because you did not believe, you will not be able to eat any of that food. Now time passed and in the evening, there were around four men who were outside the gates of Samaria. These were worse off than the citizens who were within the city gates. These Israelite men were not allowed to get inside the city because they were suffering from a dreadful form of skin disease. And back then, that is more than 3000 years ago, they had no remedy. So these men had to stay out of the town and away from the people. We shall die of hunger, said one of the men. We'll be no better if we are inside the city, said the other. The third one was a little smarter. He said, why don't we go across to the Syrian camp? And the fourth one said, you know, we might just get killed. But then again, we may also get some food to eat. So they decided that they should be going towards the Syrian side of the camp. It was dark and all four of them set out very quietly to look for a friendly Syrian soldier. They saw that the first tent was completely empty. 
not a single soldier was inside it. But there was plenty of food and wine. So they went in and kept eating and drinking to their heart's content. Then they sheepishly walked into the next tent. Here they saw not just the food that was lying out, but started noticing the other things that were around. There was silver, there was gold, and there was rich embroidered robes. They could help themselves to anything that they wanted. When suddenly one of the men said, No brothers, we cannot do this. We have got this good news which we must share with all of our people and not just keep it to ourselves. So all four of them hurried back into the town and went straight to the king's palace. The king woke up upon hearing all this commotion outside the gates. While the men explained all that they had seen, the king was still a little doubtful. He did, however, send a small band of soldiers to go and investigate. Just as the men had reported, God had rescued Israel. The Syrian army had for some reason left their tents and their camps, but leaving behind all the food and the goods, which were now for the Israelites. So God's word, which prophet Elisha had prophesied in the morning, had come true. All the food supplies were brought into the city gate for a sale. The king put his chief officer in charge to control the crowd that came to buy these goods. But in a mad excitement to buy food, someone knocked down this chief officer and he died in a stampede. Didn't Elisha tell that chief officer that you will not get to eat what food God will bring into Israel the next day? Well, that prophecy too came true. That is the thing about prophets and prophecies. God himself talks to them and tells them what is to come. Do you know some of the prophets in our times? Let's think about it. Yes, you and I. We have been given the privilege of being prophets through baptism. The day we were baptized, we were proclaimed as prophets to the nation. Jesus, through his life, death and resurrection, has given all of us this privilege to be prophets. All those of us who are baptized in his name. But in order to harness this power of prophecy, we need to be closely connected to Jesus. We need to read our Bible every day and say our prayers. By saying our prayers, I mean talking to Jesus every single day. So I hope you are interested in wanting to be a prophet in this century. Follow the tips that I've given you and very surely, soon enough, we'll have young prophets raising from among us. You take care and I'll see you again in the next episode. Goodbye.